Hold on a second, everybody. You scared me. <laughs> Sorry. Say hi to everybody. Oh, hi, everybody. <laughs> so everybody, although everybody wondering how's mom, how's mom doing? There she is, hanging in there. Yes. So just yes. quickly saying hello. All right. All right, my love you. Be I love be you safe. Too, baby. All right. All right, everybody, how you doing? Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Tuesday. It is October 25th, 2022. Uh, beautiful day here in New York. Look at that. Not a cloud in the sky today. Absolutely gorgeous, which is a nice change. Got to watch out of the way so Mom don't run me over. You're good. Keep coming. Keep coming. No, you, you had more, Ma. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> so she's driving uh, Jeannie's car. So you guys are going to have to let me know uh, how the clarity is of this new camera and how it, how it works. So, uh, and, and let me know what you think. All right. So, but, uh, so yes, I'm back in New York. It's absolutely gorgeous here today. Very, very nice day. I got in this morning, oh, quarter to four it's this morning, I believe. So, long drive, but, uh, you know, I'm back here in New York. Obviously, my kid's birthday is the 29th, uh, and I had promised both of them that I would absolutely be back in New York for their birthday. So, uh, Becky started painting. Uh, I think she used spray paint. It looks like spray paint uh, on the bed. She wants to do that to all the beds. She goes, they need color. They need color. I'm like, yeah, have at it. Do what you got to do. I don't care. So, she spray painted, uh, obviously, that one. But, uh, yeah, so here I am. I'm back in New York, and uh, like I said, Hella, Hella did such a good job on the right end. She was so good. She usually is. Um, I haven't had a whole lot of problems with her uh, with driving. So, actually, what we're going to do real quick, since we're back here in New York, we're going to do two things. We're going to walk in here real quick, and we're going to take a look and see... All right, yeah, the batteries are 2791. So really, really good shape with the batteries. So that's really good. Really, really good. It's actually saying it's discharging. Hmm. Yeah, that's weird. That's pretty much maxed out, which is good. So the batteries are in great shape, which is nice to see. Uh, it's been a very, very sunny day. Very, very sunny day. All right. We're going to walk over here. And the puppies are all in the yard. And I know Miss Hella, she gets no freedom in New York. She has to be locked up with the other dogs. But literally, folks, if she wanted to, she could come over that fence in a heartbeat with no issues. Look at the, look at the chickens. Uh, so what we're going to do, let's, let's do this. We're going to walk over here real quick. Okay, ah, 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 stop. Nobody's coming out. I'm going over to see the chickens. Stop, stop. Down. All right. All right, tell us, stop. Okay. So here's the girls. So what we're going to do... They know the drill too. <laughs> so there's Miss Thickneck. Her neck feathers are growing back now, which is good. All right, ladies, ready? I am sure that they have not gotten any mealworms since I left. All right, so what we're going to do, put that back there. Oh, wait a minute. Now look at this, folks. There's an egg laying here in the center on the floor. So there's an egg right there. 
Uh, well, we're looking this way. I don't see any others yet. All right. Um, so what happens to a lot of times, guys, in the fall, egg production slows down because, and I'll kind of show you with thick neck here, all her neck feathers were, uh, were gone. Um, all of her, I mean, everything on her neck was gone. So you can see that her feathers there, she's right there in the center, uh, they're starting to come back on her neck. And so she's starting to obviously get her feathers back. So when that's happening, when they're molting like that, all the energy is going into growing fresh feathers. That's a mean chicken right there. She's a mean girl. I think it's one of the young ones too. But uh, anyway, so but the, all their energy is going into to regrowing feathers, so that's why they're not laying like they normally would. These these guys are uh, preparing for winter just like everybody else prepares for winter, and so that's what they're doing right now. They're fun. I've missed the chickens. Uh, I definitely need to get chickens down in West Virginia. And it's just a matter, you know, of getting that taken care of. So, anyway, so that is where we're at. Um, oh, look at I got dusty now on my shirt. I picked up that bag and I held it against me. And, uh, very, very dusty. Hold on, Holly, you're a good girl. Yeah, she's a good girl. Alright, I'm going to get some of that dust off of me. Alright, so that's that's where we're at. Uh, like I said, back in New York, I'm tired. I uh, got in this morning at about 4, laid down at 6. Uh, the dogs had me up at 11. <laughs> so, I... Uh, a lot of the leaves are off of the trees now. Obviously, it's that time of the year, and so what are you going to do? It's a uh, part of what happens, unfortunately, but uh, we're going to, you know, just taking care of business. So, she seems content to be back. Like I said, she had a really, really good ride back. So, but just giving you guys an update. Um, this is the new camera. Uh, again, you're going to have to let me know how it does. Uh, I, I have no idea how it's going to be and how it's going to sound or any of that type of stuff. So uh, definitely want to hear what you think with that. I'm trying to see where the microphone is on this. What is this here? There's a thing there. I don't even know what that is. I don't see where the microphone is. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay with this. I hope. <laughs> We will see. Uh, I don't see where the microphone is. That is too funny. I'm trying to look. I, literally, this is my first time, guys, uh, doing a video with this. And I'm not seeing. I'm hoping that this is not where the mic is and that it's... I had to take this piece of foam off of here. Let me see. I don't know. I'm not going to mess with that right now. I'll have to look at it. But hopefully you can hear me okay. So, there's Miss Soxie. Got a lot of leaves down already around here. Like I say again, it's just... Uh, hello, girl. How are you? Mm -hmm. So I went down already and saw Heather at work. Because uh, she was already... Uh, she wasn't home last night when I got here. So I had to, I wanted to make sure I went and saw her. So I went down to her workplace today and visited her there. And uh, so that's it. So anyway, just wanted to do a quick video. I'll let you guys know that I am back in New York with a new camera. And just trying to get myself squared away. I will be doing a second video today so you will see that go up. Uh, I'm not sure what else is going to happen uh, at this point right now. <laughs> But uh, just so everybody knows, for my hardcore preppers, by not doing a video yesterday, I will be making that up for you guys on Thursday. So Thursday at 8 o'clock for my hardcore preppers. 
Uh, I will look for you then in the live stream. But, uh, nope, like I said, just uh, season's turning, getting ready for, for winter. Oh, actually, I know what I was going to show you guys, too. So, how much wood has Heather gone through? So, we're going to walk over here real quick, and uh, I will show you. Now, I had split up a bunch of wood, and... Uh, for, these, for them to use as kindling. But, uh, so these two, there was two rows here from like that point, and this was some of the older wood in here. So they've like gone through this and they haven't even touched that yet. So not bad, not bad so far at all. Uh, like today, there's no way there's gonna be a fire today. It's just too comfortable. But plenty of wood for the winter and uh, so they're going to be good to go that way. Uh, plenty of kindling as well. And there we are. So anyway, guys, listen, I am going to jump off of here for right now. I hope everybody's doing extremely well. I hope you guys are having a good day. Uh, I will see you later in the next video. Remember, we are all in this together. We are one race called the human race. As soon as we can figure that one out, we will be in much, much better shape. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day, tomorrow's not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So it's really important to tell the people that we care about every day how we feel. Last but not least, STD, step thing and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to accomplish, whatever you're trying to do, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from reaching your goal is you. That's it, nobody else. Stay positive, stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be just fine. All right? I will talk to you guys all later. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.